Lee Jackson hooks the first fish only a couple of hours after putting his rods out at the start of day one. It's only a grass cup, but a powerful fish all the same. There are several different species of fish in this particular lake, which adds to the wonder of what's going to be caught next. But what the guys are really after are the large common and mirror carp that reach huge weights of up to 70 pounds. coming for but welcome all the same. Just more heavy. As the morning sun begins to rise higher and higher into the summer sky, a few fish begin to move closer to the shallows on the island's marginal ledge, and Pete Castle starts to pick up a few fish.
been quite a few fish showing down here now. Especially early this morning. Just nicked in the side there. A single target nut. I've just like bitten it in half, just to add a little bit more attraction. Oh, we've got another one. <laughs> oh, this one's fighting a bit hard. Right, my neck collapsed down underneath a fish. This is a problem sometimes, especially with a multiple rod setup. The best way I've found to do it if I've got into this difficulty is get the fish as close as possible, keep your drag nice and tight, and let, let them just run off of their own accord. You do run the risk of losing it, but that fish is alright on there. If that started flapping about, I'd just drop this rod, sort that one back into the water. It's nice to weigh them and uh, take a photograph, but obviously the fish's uh, health is far more important. It's actually a grass carp, so it should just go flying out in a second anyway. They can be quite lethargic fish sometimes when they come in, but then all of a sudden have a bursting run. Build up a lot of lactic acid really quickly, so I've got a tight line on it. See, like it's shooting off. It gives me that chance. I'll get this one out. It's still got a tight line on it. Covered up. Still a tight line, so I'm happy with that. And hopefully it's still on there. set your clutch nice and loose with these things they can absolutely explode out the margins it's not a very big one but I've seen some big ones I've seen some cruising around on the top yesterday that looked over 40 pound when we were walking around at the start I'm out of breath that's good stuff come on baby I am giving it a bit of jip because I want to get it in quite quick which Again, you run the risk of losing it. So we can power it into the net. That's the point where you've got to lift the net up quick. Sometimes grasses just explode then. They just don't like it. All right, what I'm going to do is lift this straight out without collapsing the net. You can see both of them. Like I said, it's not ideal that situation, but you do get it when you use a multiple rod setup. When you start picking up fish, sometimes you can have. Let's get rid of these glasses. Right. I was going to weigh that fish, but I think what I'm going to do is just get them straight. Back in the water. 